Shatterday, everybody. everybody. There it is. All welcome right. Welcome to, to the show. Yeah, it's Shatterday Morning Cartoons. Everybody's in a, everything's weird this week because it's a weird week. Everybody's traveling for Thanksgiving and uh, it's, it's kind of a holiday weekend almost. So uh, it's a little bit different Shatterday Morning Cartoons. It is. I'm at Jake's just place. And so we're on two different computers in the same house because it's better for audio reasons so jake there's jakester jakester welcome to the show this is hey guys. Nick, nick and i have been pals with jakester since we were in fourth grade we've all been best pals and we still hang out who does that who hangs Weird. out george do you have any friends that you've hung out with since fourth grade yes really i have a friend i have a friend from third grade who we're still good friends you do a oh, found no video sure. show with him and uh he, he actually <laughs> appeared he was when we watched the george with the uh uh ep mode he was the one who hit the records with a guitar oh really oh. you're still friends huh yeah so we've been friends from second grade through high school to we now. should get him on the show he probably knows some george i did ask stories. him oh the stuff he knows <laughs> oh. oh it's a whole that's a whole net it's a whole series right there oh, man all right well um uh, there's some stuff i want to cover with jake's but before we do that let's jump into our cereals and what we're i have no cereal because uh <laughs> jakester doesn't have any i'm at jakester's place in yeah. his uh in his padded cell right now apparently you hold up a newspaper uh, to see what day it is and then you're still yeah, alive there's, basically there's a single there's a single light bulb hanging from the ceiling here jakester's um, interrogation room i see but but i will show this jakester does have this mug that says uh naughty at 40 yeah. happy birthday yep. Yep. yeah i i really yeah so that's what i'm uh, drinking my coffee out of this morning so uh, um well, Jakester, I think we should talk about the fact that you have some unusual cereal habits. You have since we were kids. Had. Yeah, I don't really eat cereal anymore. But um, for you're some an adult. reason. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> for who some watch, reason. Who doesn't continue to watch cartoons at age 45? Hey, hey, gotcha. hey. hey. <laughs> All right. Anyway, continue. Um, yeah, I, uh, I used to never put milk in my cereal. It was always dry. Same because you don't like white and creamy things, and milk is one of those. Is that does that fall into that um... kind of? But hmm. it, I always like the the taste of cereal as it's you know by itself. And I, I always uh, remember you having pro grain cereal. Yes. I mean, I, where I had everything that was cookie based, you you basically had the raw base. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. Know. It had like a runner. I have no idea why. Jake, you know nuggets. pro. Did program, did that have niacin in it? It probably had a lot of niacin in it. Probably right? did. Yeah, okay. I think so. I got my niacin through that. So okay. there should be a, a cereal called like niacin chunks or something. <laughs> like no, nothing but niacin. <laughs> George, get to Photoshop. <laughs> I just, I want to say, I just, I went with my first bag cereal. This is from Target. It's sugar cookie granola. It does look good. Yeah, it is good. And I got, I was, when I was in Madison doing a show, um, this past weekend, um, there's a, a store there called Meep, Meepleton's that my sister took me into, and it's like Bric-a-Brac Records in Chicago. It's just toys from our childhoods um, recreated and for sale. And they had this um, Donatello uh, cereal bowl for really okay. cheap. So you're kind of eating out of his hollowed out stomach, it looks like. Oh, cool. Yeah, okay. so I got that. And not only that, I'm getting into the holiday season. So I've got some Trader Joe's non-dairy oat beverage nog oh. as the milk on the sugar cookie so real health nut this morning but it's it's a holiday treat when you when you held up the it just looked like slime was just like falling down the, well because yeah. you see i've eaten most of this so all that's left there's kind of that sugar cookie granola dust at the bottom so but it's wow. good dust it really wow. is george what do you uh what do you got oh i'm eating um this is really obscure but this is a um a cereal called the last episode of mash <laughs> um and uh <laughs> Oh, it's weird. <laughs> well, no, it's, that's the thing. It's like it was free inside a chicken, but when you open it, it's actually a baby. It was he was repressing oh. it. That was like his very I, last episode of Mash. I'm not getting the reference at all. What, good, what's, good. Okay, all right. We'll leave it that's at that. Right. Yeah. Mash was like when they had to preempt football because they didn't sell out the stadium. That's what. That's how I saw Mash, and I'd be like, Oh, I guess we can't watch the game because they didn't sell out this week. So. The TV contract dictates they put on a mash rerun at the last minute. <laughs> um, hey, before we get into the, would you want to do your commercial now, Nick, or do you want to do you want me to tell my? Yeah, let's thing? let's do it only gonna... so that we get into some video quick. But then, yeah, I want to delve into the Jakester stuff. But okay. uh, so what I thought I would pull for the commercial up top here is an actual ad break from our local Fox channel that Joe Jakester and I watched growing up. This is a 1986 December <laughs> ad break, so it's very appropriate. Okay, here we go. 
You'll cheer for Heathcliff weekday mornings at 8 on Channel 47. Where would I be without my public? Those fingers need waking up. Ta-da! I'm Jocko. I'm Ben. I'm Marsha. The chocolatey, nutty-coated marshmallow in Rocky Road cereal. Choco's chocolatey puff, it makes my heart sing. Van's vanilla puff is such a tasty thing. But Rocky Road has something special for you. It's got a chocolatey, nutty-coated marshmallow, too. Rocky Road cereal, a classic part of this complete breakfast. I liked your other song better. Wake it up to Rocky Road, make sure we can see. Ugh. <laughs> Mass <laughs> Battle Venom, Wednesday mornings yes. at 8.30 on oh, Channel 47. Masked. Spectrum hang glider on. All right, so there's cool. yeah. So we were probably watching that ad break at the time, I would guess. I mean, I what else? Like we... watching Mask now. Totally <laughs> right. Yeah, we should cue that up. Um, do you remember? Do you remember the WMSN? How how the uh, the song went uh, for no. the channel? No. WMSN forty seven. Bump 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 bump. <laughs> Really? Oh, I should try to pull that. Um, yeah. uh, Jakester, do you remember that? No, not uh -huh. really as clearly as you did. Okay. I remember I they had like head balloons head. and they had kind of a whimsical song for their afternoon thing. It'd be like, we'll be oh, right yeah. back. And it was like, oh, yeah, for, like yeah. the kids stuff. Yeah, for right. the kids shows. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so let's let's di dive into this with uh, our history with Jakester here, Joe. So, yeah, we, we've all known each other since we were in fourth grade and we've always like, so Jakester lived on a farm and I remember I would go over to your farm for like sleepovers mm -hmm. and you know you had barns and hay bales and like hundreds of ATVs acres of land and, and ATVs right, right. and we could explore everything if we had wanted to instead we watched police academy 3 taped off of tv right yeah i mean of course we did <laughs> that's Duh. i mean we, you you had this farmhouse <laughs> that we could have so much fun instead we just sat inside and watched wmsn 47 right yeah. um and so uh you your, your mom owned a video store. Correct. So you guys always had so much VHS in the house. And uh, it was always the screeners that would come up with the, the line saying, like, if, if you're watching this and you don't own a video store, call this number so we can arrest you. <laughs> and yeah. uh, so you, it was always fun to hang out at Jakester's place. And you always had, like, fun. You always had program there. And you always yep. had, just, like, frozen pizzas. And, and uh, it, was, it, was, it was like the party house when we were in middle school. Um, you guys also had a camcorder. And a VHS camcorder, like yep. nobody else had that. Like Nick, you guys had VHS C. That's like mm -hmm. a step down. Yeah, it was. like a VHS camcorder, like that was full size. Yeah. yeah. And I remember being there. I was probably in high school, or maybe I was like eighteen or so. I was old enough to know better. And I took your camcorder, and I talked about this on the the home movie show with Skip Elsimer that we did a couple months ago. And uh, <laughs> I took the camcorder. And it had a tape in it that said Dallas's first Christmas. And Dallas is your nephew. Nephew, yeah. Your your sister's firstborn. And I, she I, recorded my and my mom's first grand grandkid. grandson. Yeah, yeah. It's, a, it's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> right. He's a he's yeah. a big one. And yep. he's a heavy, he's a heavy hitter as far as grandsons go. Right. Yes. And uh <laughs> You, you, uh, I, I put it in there and, uh, but there were tons of tapes, first of all, in my defense, I'm, I'm defending <laughs> myself already, but there were a bunch of tapes and I put that in there and I closed it and it was, it was just like Dallas opening up Christmas presents. Yeah. I, I mean, really it was watching a little bit. It was boring. It wasn't, it was very boring. Yeah. There wasn't, wasn't really much to it. I'm no, sure that I'm sure they'd never watched it after they recorded it too. They, I mean, it was like, no way. No way. It was so uninspired. They didn't do anything fun. And the presents he got were boring. <laughs> so I took that tape. I put it in the camcorder and I had this genius idea of recording you over recording over Dallas's Christmas. Right. And you didn't want me to do that. And you were right. really mad about it. And then you saw I, the, go ahead. Yeah, because I, I knew what tape you grabbed. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, my sister is going to kill me yeah. if uh, she finds this out. Right. And so uh, you saw the red light on, and I actually hit record, and then you chased me around the house. Yes. And then your kitchen, you have an island in there. Yep. And I went to the opposite side of the island. You chased <laughs> me around the island in the kitchen, mm -hmm. and I'm pointing the camera at you while you're getting mad, and you're saying, and you called me Joey at the time. You're like, Joey, get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Get out right <laughs> oh, now. Was, like, you got it, so mad. And, and meanwhile, was, meanwhile, you're you're filming this and the camera's actually shaking because you're laughing so hard. Oh, I had tears streaming down my cheek. 
And uh, at one point, you, you wanted to throw something at me, but you didn't have anything. So you, you looked around, you grabbed a dish towel, yep. like, a, like a, a dish rag, and you chucked the dish rag at me, oh, which made me laugh even harder. <laughs> anyway, I told this story on the, the, the home movie show with Skip, and a psychologist wrote in. <laughs> so I guess, I guess psychologists watch our show now. Uh, sent a thoughtful charles charles the psychologist sent in this long and i could tell because he uses big words in this thing like he uses psychology words in here so he's an actual psychologist and he said he, he, i'll just read some excerpts he said wow i don't want to alarm you guys but i'm fairly certain joe suffers from antisocial personality disorder <laughs> i feel qualified to make that diagnosis as i do have my master's of science in psychology he goes on, he says, intentionally destroying a supposed friend's cherished memories while deriving maniacal pleasure from said destruction, in addition to tormenting his alleged friend while destroying the aforementioned heirloom, simultaneously gleaning a perverse sense of pleasure and humor from the entire situation is definitely indicative of a severe lack of empathy and utter <laughs> disregard for right and wrong and blatant disrespect for the wishes of a supposed close friend or acquaintance what's the controversy there is that are you are you disagreeing with this or? <laughs> <laughs> well I, i've had is there people... any evidence to the contrary i guess yeah. Listen, I'm asking. <laughs> I've, I've had people like you guys say like oh you're a sociopath we tell the word sociopath around all all the time but never from an actual <laughs> do we no oh, in I regards do. to joe yeah <laughs> how have you seen our you haven't seen our our text exchanges no, we, yeah. don't, we don't. We don't. <laughs> How do you know we, that? You, you guys yeah. aren't psychologists, though. That's what I'm saying. Is that this Charles. guy Charles is an actual psychologist, and he's using all the big words, all the psychology words. He goes, all of which are symptoms colloquial, colloquially known as socio sociopath, sociopath, sociopathy. sociopathy, sociopathy. Yeah. Who's the sociopath now? <laughs> <laughs> is that how? Is that if you can pronounce it in disease, then you yeah. have it. Yeah, that's he, how it works. All right. He went on to say that he's he's worried about you, George. He's like, I just wonder what he's going to do to your. He's going to be detrimental to your content. I personally fear the most for uh, the psychological well being of George, poor sweet innocent George. He, yeah, he was worried about you, but what I would do to you. Well, There's that's no why I, I don't. That's you. why I don't go. Wow, well, oh, that's why I don't go on. I'd hurt tour you, but with I would... you. <laughs> or, or anytime anything comes up, you're like, oh, can you meet us at this thing? And like. I've, I've got something to do. <laughs> There's no way I would ever take like your niece and nephew's Christmas. Well, maybe I would actually. Yeah, <laughs> you would. Like, yeah stop uh, with the bullshit. You haven't learned yeah. any lesson. <laughs> <laughs> he said, if, if, you good, if the good folks at Found Footage Fest would like any recommendations on institutions that can potentially help Joe with his mental health issues, <laughs> I can certainly make some recommendations. So he said that, and I was just like, oh, he might be onto something, though, actually. Yeah. I think that he might actually be onto something. Joe's sociopathy corner. <laughs> new uh more content everything is content yeah charles and i have been in touch we have a plan so uh, <laughs> okay yeah All right. i can't wait for the intervention mm -hmm. a joe intervention oh. yeah jakester do you agree with uh, charles assessment oh 100 percent. yeah <laughs> yeah but okay. i mean you're you're a fun sociopath so exactly that's the thing <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, no. No. People said that about Pol Pot too. So no. you know, um, <laughs> great at parties. Nobody did. Bad at nobody bad leading. Did. Well, that's a great transition to talking about Heathcliff. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be watching Heathcliff. All eighty-six episodes are on a bunch of DVDs here. Um, who did you guys watch Heathcliff? This is a uh, syndicated, but originally out from eighty-four to eighty-six. My brother yeah. did. He watched in the afternoons when he came home from school. So that's all I know, but I would watch it with them sometimes. George Joe or George yes. or Tom? Yeah. Yep. He's well, for sure. For yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. My sister I mean, it was and I watched like the only, It was kind of the only thing on at what, four o'clock or something yeah, like that? Yeah. It was like yeah. right, right when you got home from school. It was yeah. like school got out at three o'clock. You got home at like 326 and it was starting right up right there. Exactly. So. Got to do something until Transformers comes on. Yeah. Yep. Right. <laughs> so a little uh, little Heathcliff history. Um, this is the very first comic strip. It started as a newspaper strip in 1973, which, by the way, is a full five years before Jim Davis debuted Garfield. So if you want to talk about who the original orange mm. comic cat was, Heathcliff is it. Okay. All right. A Take that, Jim Davis. Fudge Sunday and raw fish. Yeah. I wonder if uh, Heathcliff uh, people ever talked about uh, suing Jim Davis. Oh, maybe. Because, I mean, yeah, I don't know. They both uh, are sort of gluttonous cats that love, uh, you know, I guess 
Heathcliff more like skeletonizing fish rather than, um, you know, yeah. lasagna. Oh, yeah. lasagna. Yeah. Right, yeah. right. He's a little less lazy, but a lot of similarities. There's a dog, um, you know, so yeah, I can see it. I mean, this isn't rocket science here. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Let's have a, do- a cat that likes to eat who's lazy. And yeah, then it's we'll a have formula. A, a dog. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, so and then Heathcliff, the creator, by the way, is a guy named George Gately. And uh, he uh, based the name actually on the character from Wuthering Heights named Heathcliff, uh, oh, the Emily really? Bronte. So when we watched Cliff Richard, uh, the British uh, former singer who did some acting, we've watched his version of he did a play based on Heathcliff from Wuthering Heights. Oh, he got that queued up. Nice. Yeah. Bit of an over actor is uh, <laughs> Cliff Richard. He's got an E at the end. Yeah. I'll be damned. I'll be damned. <laughs> oh, well, you don't have to touch me. And I shall be as dirty as I please. I like to be dirty. And I will be <laughs> dirty. This huddling in my coat. This gypsy bundle. Oh. Oh. It's a musical, I should have said. Squalor cares to bring <laughs> A dirty, oh. ragged mess of desperation. He's dead, Kathy, he's dead! I forgive what you have done to me, Kathy. <laughs> oh, and I will yeah. bear my banishment alone. Look at that green screen. I swear I will see you again if I shall live. And I'll see you on the green screen in heaven. <laughs> there is great <laughs> comfort in pure. <laughs> this could be like a uh, <laughs> Halloween costume. Somebody goes as Cliff Richards, Heathcliff. Somebody goes as this like Hobbit-looking guy. I was going to say, I, this feels like a Mr. Show sketch to me right here. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> Is this where he skeletonizes a fish? I don't know. <laughs> You're thinking of the other Heathcliff. Yeah. Oh, wow. Hatred. For envy's not enough. Not enough. <laughs> wait. Kathy, wait for me. I cannot live without my life. I cannot live without my soul. <laughs> There's Cliff Richards Heathcliff. So we're talking so that, about a different Heathcliff. Okay. That was the inspiration for Heathcliff? Yeah. I mean, not Cliff Richards version, but the one oh. from literature, uh, Heathcliff from the Emily Bronte novel, Wuthering Heights. So, uh, yeah, but the, then that was also the inspiration for Cliff Richards' musical. And, uh, and Garfield was from, uh, was it Death of a Salesman? Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's <laughs> where Jim right. Davis got that, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, even Heathcliff's a little more highbrow than Garfield. Um, and then, uh, but uh, the reason I want to have Jake Strong for this was for this reason and this reason alone. What are we looking at here? Oh. Yes, these are the collected comic yep. books of Heathcliff, which were conveniently available in the Scholastic Book Club. Uh, that you could order from in school. And Jakester, you had quite the collection of these. I'm trying to remember exactly which ones I had here. Um, yeah, not all of these. Uh, I mean, I don't yeah. know if these are all of them, but yeah. Well, J- Jakester, what I remember is that you had a, a shitload of Heathcliff books, but then, and you didn't even have Garfield. Like you chose no. Heathcliff. Fuck Garfield. No, <laughs> all about Heathcliff. And, and then, but, not, but you had that. And then you also had another paperback book that was clearly a, a gifted to you from maybe your parents yeah it was like uh a- uh where there's a will there's an a do you remember that <laughs> you had I don't a remember that one actually where there's well- a will there's an a and it had never been cracked open once oh that's weird <laughs> but it, but it- <laughs> so there was no will <laughs> <laughs> but it did but it did make the bookshelf right next to the heathcliff uh, yeah comics. yep yeah yep <laughs> and uh also um jake Stray, i believe you had one about cb lingo so like oh yeah you know, we I think learned, I still have that one. I will never smoky get, is and yeah. I'll never get rid of that one. That one's yeah. a classic. And um, uh, do you, like you would have thrown these away. Do you think your parents still have these like in a and a they uh, like a they, storage lock or something? Uh, they might be down here in the basement. Um, right next to, go, to the get out tape. Probably. Yeah, right? maybe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So then uh, Heathcliff uh, became a cartoon in 1984. And I, but there was actually an original Heathcliff cartoon that had much better animation. I don't want to show that one. I want to show the one that we all saw growing up. Uh, 
1980 version also featured Marmaduke in the second season. So there's a bit of a crossover. But the 84 oh. season was from our good friends at Deke. And, you know, we just we can't get enough Deke cartoons. It's a staple. That and Ruby Spears, really. Um, but, you know, I think it's hard to top a voice for um, a, a cartoon cat. When I mean, Garfield, you had Lorenzo music, and that was just the perfect Garfield voice. But does anybody know who did the voice for Heathcliff? Uh, mm. I'm just going to go Alan Thicke because I think he was on TV constantly back then. <laughs> Let's go Alan Thicke. Oh, I, I don't even have a guess. Uh, I'm going to go with Bryce Beckham, my standby. Okay. <laughs> Wesley from uh, Mr. But, Belvedere. Let me give you a hint. Amongst other voices, this, uh, this voice actor also was the voice of the McKenzie brothers' dad in uh, Strange oh! Brew. Brian Doyle Murray. No. Right? No. Oh, I thought that was. Mel- Are you sure? I don't Mel think Blank? it is. It's Mel Blanc. No wow. shit, Mel Blanc. Mel Blanc did That's the voice late. of Heathcliff in both the 1980 version and the 1984 version. So if there's anything to be said about this cartoon, it's not the animation. It's not the writing. It's the uh, the voice of Heathcliff, Mel Blanc. Very likable. How did I, how did I know that straight? Yeah, how did I know that strange brew reference? But you guys didn't. <laughs> uh, the other voice. Uh, so also in this was a uh, character named Riff Raff, who is on the left. So they would do kind of double it up. They'd have a Heathcliff short, and then they do one of Riff Raff. And Heathcliff and Riff Raff never saw each other. They, those cartoons never crossed over, even though the junkyard pals on the right there did. And there was a lot of conspiracy theories, but the prevailing one seems to be that Deke was trying to create their own cartoon cat spinoff. So they had Riff Raff, this cool junkyard cat, and and they thought if he was on the screen with Heathcliff, they wouldn't be able to claim that they were the sole owners of it. Oh, so they, that's that, why they never crossed over. That's huge news. Like yeah. I always wondered about this. I was like, why are there yeah. two separate cat cartoons right next to each other, and they don't even know each other? And in the outro, they do briefly tease that they meet each other, but they never do in the in the series. And then Stan Jones was the voice of uh, Riff Raff, and he also did Wordsworth. He played Lex Luthor on Super Friends, George. Yes. Ears should perk up for that. And he was the narrator in the movie Little Shop of Horrors, which came out the same year as the cartoon we're going to watch. Which which one would you, which uh, of the, the cats here that we're looking at, which one would you say is you? I would say that I am, I would say that I'm, uh, the, the brown haired one back there. That's me. Yeah, I could see that because I kind of sit like that anyway. I'm Wordsworth because I love roller skating. So okay. I'm, I'm, I'm clearly the little guy with the hat. OK, Riff Raff. Dexter? OK, Jason, I guess, you want to be Mongo or I, I guess I'll be Mongo. OK, I mean, he's wearing a hat, so. And I got to say, as a kid, I was very attracted to Cleo, uh, Riff Raff's girlfriend. That's yeah, really cool. I, I like how they sexualized the uh, cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> Shamelessly. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and she they gave her leggings like that's, yeah. Uh, yeah yeah and she's right. crossing her legs yeah oh, she's beautiful all right Weird. so at minute thirty of the show we're gonna get into Heathcliff the cartoon <laughs> for the for those cartoon lovers out here here's Heathcliff with the unforgettable uh, the unforgettable uh, intro. No all words. Yep. What style of music is this? Doo-wop or? Like, it's this 80s, 80s. 80s oh. attempt of at like 50s, 60s. So it's sort of like the cars or something like that a little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. Or, okay. Yeah, they had like a. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Can you pause? I always thought they said feeding Johnny will never last. <laughs> what did they actually say there? Feeding, feeding Johnny frenzy? will. Oh, maybe. Let's just. Me and Johnny never had? Being charming never had. I heard being charming. Hmm. Let's let's give it one more shot. Let us know in the comments what you think it is. Being no charming never can. I still hear f- feeding Johnny never land. Or Charlie? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's REM lyrics from the early. Yeah. <laughs> from Murmur. Yeah. God, let us know. I, I'm stumped. I'm sure the internet knows. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm actually a sucker for the uh, sound effects that they used at the end there. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, completely. You should realize he can win it with you. I mean, what does that even mean? You should You're... realize. What's he trying to win? <laughs> well, I, all these all these lyrics feel like they're like cobbled together, like yeah. whether they were like uh, uh translated maybe or like uh For people who've never seen the show they're probably just like he's a he's a fun funny cat you know uh yeah or i feel like All right, i looked them up they had 10 minutes to like write <laughs> these lyrics they had 10 minutes to write these lyrics so like quickly quickly we got to go in now <laughs> almost yeah. like mad lib yeah all right george tell us what are the uh, lyrics <sighs> of the theme song okay i'm going to i can <gasps> oh, uh, oh. <laughs> heathcliff 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 no one should terrify their neighborhood Sure. But Heathcliff just won't be undone playing pranks on everyone. There's a race to be on top. The competition doesn't stop. Mixing with the ladies fair. Here we go. Being charming debonair. Being debonair. Charming debonair. Whoa. The Be... gang will reign supreme and no one can deny. Ha, 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 ha. They'll make some history and always have an alibi. Okay. So join in the jubilee. The cats are great. They'll all agree. <laughs> You'll find in each calamity the cat's superiority. Oh, 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 oh. Heathcliff, Heathcliff, no one should terrify their neighborhood. But Heathcliff just won't be undone. You should realize he can win it with you. He can win oh, it with you. Wow. Okay. It okay. really makes no sense. Then. <laughs> you should realize. <laughs> All right. Realize that. A dramatic <laughs> reenactment of as we Cliff. watch a little bit more Garfield. <laughs> or <Heath Cliff. laughs> I picked this based, I picked it based on the title alone. Yes. I just went with the title on this one. <laughs> but look at Wordsworth is in this episode with him. Yeah, so the, the junkyard cats will cross over, just not riffraff. That's what's hmm. even more oh. alarming about it. Hmm. Sounds like Mario music. What a beautiful thing. <laughs> like eight this fresh air really gives me an appetite. Here, Mel Blank. Who are Mel oh Blank's actual voice? Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Hey, that made me hungry. I need a snack. Yeah, it's very Bugs Bunny. You know, a breakfast without fish is like a day without sunshine. And who wants to live in the dark? And who wants to eat alone? I think I'll drop in on the beautiful Sonia. That soundtrack is intense. Yeah, yeah it is. Oh, yeah. She's got wandering eyes. Yeah. It's like the meme. She's not looking at. What's the matter? He's close. Huh? How could you look at that, 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 that wimp? You like that sound effect, Jigster? Loved it. No, this is not fat. It's muscle. Pure muscle. Uh, Watch this. Does, does Heathcliff have a New York accent? I think so. I mean, most Mel Blanc characters have a little bit of that, right? Yeah. Listen, pal. Yeah, yeah, a little bit of that. He's a rough and tumble, like street yeah. cat kind of thing. Well, yeah. Maybe Jersey, too. Yeah, yeah, a little Jersey. But it there. turns out Heathcliff actually tells her to pursue her uh, affection for that other cat because he's a cuck. So oh, that's, yeah. Let's watch the rest of that. That's something he's there are many to. layers to this. I yeah. didn't see when I was a kid. Yeah, no, he's a cuckold. So here we go. Not <laughs> Whatever you're into. I'm not fat. Well, it's the moment of truth. Spring. There's gonna yeah. be a spring. Yeah, spring yeah. Will out. I like the. Oh, there it is. Spring. There yeah. it is. <laughs> and it's got all the oh, international it? flags on it. Why? I don't get Why that. Why is that? Ireland, USSR. I don't Why? know. I don't know. Uh, and that's confetti. Weird. Okay. Maybe this is like a. I don't know. Why? Why are? Where are they? I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, okay, I get the idea. One world government. <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> Today, In a scale. Right. A scale. Well, 
what's wrong. There's even a sound effect for him grabbing the magazine. Uh, I like that. Wall Nick, can you go back. Yeah. I want to hear him grabbing the magazine. It's it's actually a, a diet cookbook that the dad has. So oh, okay. Hear what, hear well, what listen, that's... there's a sound effect for grab. You don't need that. But okay. whatever. I'm glad they did that. How dare you? Yes, you do. <laughs> it's a bit of a slide whistle. <laughs> Well, what's wrong with Heathcliff? Uh, cabbage, carrots, celery, spinach. This cookbook's broccoli. vegan. Yeah. I'm a cat. <laughs> I can't eat that stuff. <laughs> no! What's the freaking idea? Everything gets a sound effect. <laughs> Listen to when the mouse lands on the cookbook. <laughs> Oh, that's my favorite. That did deserve a point. It did. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> 500 calories? Oh, no. <laughs> it looks like Heathcliff's on a diet. Oh, press him. You mean like scat to the fat? Exactly. And that gives me an idea. If we can keep Heathcliff on a diet, he'll get so weak that we can take over I identify his territory. With this guy. Mm -hmm. uh, but how <laughs> can we like keep me. Heathcliff from eating? That's me. Yeah, like that's that. totally Kitty's me. Fame is totally the you. Game. And that's Just me. Just come with yep. me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got to get to town if you want to get a frog. <laughs> I used to impersonate uh, Wordsworth to my sister. Uh, a lot of lonely latchkey afternoons for us. Yeah. <laughs> Poor latchkey kids. Yeah. Oh man, the worst form of abuse, I would say. It really is. Yeah. 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 Still so agree with my parents. Other cats. Working. I gotta lose some weight, but I just don't know. Uh, I love to eat. Oh, I'm so hungry right now. I could eat this stupid book. Better not. Lots of calories in there. Hector, can you help me? I gotta lose some weight real fast, but I'm so hungry all the time. Not easier, but eating's only half of it. Yes, sir, we're going to put you on the pet. <laughs> I guess the implication is that, like, the rest of the cats are naked. If he's wearing a tie and a headband. Yeah, what's his name? Uh, oh, God dang, I knew it. Um, let's see, Wordsworth. I don't it doesn't remember. matter. Well, we'll think of it later. But, I don't remember. But, yeah. Yeah, but I see what you're saying, like headbands and uh, a collar. A co it's yeah. like a Chippendales. He's a Chippendale. Yeah, he is. Yeah. It's like a Dickie's <laughs> wearing. Just the Dickie. Right. You'll get so thin, you'll be nothing but a grin. <laughs> Just meet us in the alley in five minutes, and we'll get you on your way to becoming a sleeker kitty cat. Yeah, uh, you'll lose weight too. All right, there's part one of Heathcliff. Which nice. I think I've only called accidentally called Garfield once so far. So, but uh, did, the, did you? The morning oh, is young. I'm, yeah. Oh, I'm, I missed that. Oh. Saturday morning cartoons will be right back. So, George, it's commercial time. What have you got queued up for us? Well, Joe has always said that orange cats are showbiz cats. Is that mm -hmm. right, Joe? Mm hmm. Well, I looked and found, found a few commercials featuring orange cats, and you can tell me. If this verifies your uh, supposition, <laughs> <laughs> what are you, a psychologist? <laughs> <laughs> That's very interesting, Joe. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about that at our next session. <laughs> right on schedule. Oh, I like it. Right on schedule. But most of all, my kitty cat. Crave dry cat oh, food crave. made from a unique crave. blend of real Aren't chicken, the milk, shapes and of protein. The fishes Not and stuff. flavored, but the As real the cats cat crave. Yeah. <laughs> cat craves, craves. Just like in Give nature. your cat the real protein-rich foods cats crave. Yep. Fish ahoy! Right ahoy, yeah. tuna and cod. Ahoy, salmon too. What a catch. Fish ahoy, fish-flavored cat dinner. Catch is a cat with three yummy fish voice. flavors. Tangy tuna, catchy cod, and savory salmon. Mmm, -hmm. one nibble and you're hooked. Fish, fish, fish ahoy. <laughs> Tasty fish ahoy. Tuna, cod, and salmon flavors all in fish ahoy. <laughs> Where's the Presenting commercial? Chef's Blend. 
the only four-course snack dinner. Chef's Blend has four flavors in one bag. But is it because of Heath Cliff and Garfield? Chef's Blend has four flavors, more flavors. Tasty tuna, lively liver, hearty beef and cheese too. Oh. Nobody gives you more flavors, more variety than Chef's Blend. Always ketchup and cheese. And tuna. Tuna Please. makes sense. Mr. Garfield, yeah. welcome Jeez. to Embassy Suites Hotel. My room. Oh, all our rooms are really two-room suites for the price of a single room. Beautiful. Don't change a thing. Oh, this is room, Lorenzo sir. Music, I love man. what you've done with this room. The bedroom. Right, we've gone from cat this food to uh, I need my space. human oh, domination. Of course, you want to take advantage of Embassy Suites' free breakfast. <laughs> food. Served every morning. I don't want Roger Rabbit style on that. You don't have that. to be a fat cat yeah. to enjoy the sweet life. I resemble that remark. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> when they say that, oh, I your pet peeves. Resemble, yeah. oh, it's a pet peeve of mine. <laughs> here's, here's, here's my, here's my thinking. So I like to, I'd like to think that the reason that orange cats are showbiz cats is because they have wonderful personalities. And they're funny, which I, which I, I really do think that. Like oranges of all the cats I've ever or, owned, oranges are the most fun and and funny and and weird. But I think it's because they pop on screen. I think that's uh, they mm. pop more on screen than mm-hmm. than like a, a gray cat or a uh, yeah black and or, white uh, or the, the black and white and the yeah Calico. or a black or a white you mm-hmm. know just an orange just stands out so that's my theory theory now back to Saturday morning cartoons well I found out that the name of that brown cat with the necktie is Hector and Hector. together they're called the Cadillac cats. That's the name. I've been calling them the I remember that now. cats. But yeah, yep. the Cadillac cats. All right. So uh, they're going to try to whip Garfield into shape. I don't know what their motives are. Well, maybe we'll find out. <laughs> you do know what their motives are, right? Keep yeah. going, Heathcliff. All that unsightly fat is going to burn right away. Yeah, like no paint, no gain, Heathcliff. Uh, let's do some push-ups now, Heathcliff. Uh, how many I mean, is, is, isn't I the purple to... cat, like, more in danger of being obese than Heathcliff at this <laughs> yeah, point. you're right. They Long don't care about, about his, one. De- his impending death. And, and by the way, they're both technically, they're, they're not obese cats. They're called chunkers. Just <laughs> chunkers. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. they're chunkers. You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. So, yeah. That's you know, the technical term. <laughs> and the only, the only other place that I had heard the word Mongo or the name Mongo was um, in Blazing Saddles. And he also played a big dumb guy. So I was wondering, oh. you know, maybe oh. they based mm. Mongo off that. Alex mm. Karen's played him in the movie. Okay. Could How well many be. of these do I have to do? <laughs> 2,000. Do you uh, hear the sound effect for the push ups? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so the the sound effect is like called push up. <laughs> Not many. Uh, a thousand should be fine. A thousand? Oh. Jake, Jake, so you told the same called joke it. that Hector I called it. it. <laughs> Jake's just betting a thousand. Don't worry about it. None of us can count. <laughs> I like that. Too. Okay, Heathcliff, time for some road work. Is it a Yamakon? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> road work. But it's the Sabbath. <laughs> oh, nothing hard. Just a 10 mile run. 10 miles? Don't you? Hey, it's easy. Just run five miles, then come back. It's just a cacophony of sound. Yeah, it really is. That's the way, old pal. Uh, don't worry about us. Uh, we'll be right behind you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mongo, words, words. Get the cart. <laughs> oh. Uh, this is another bingo card thing for Saturday morning cartoons. The smell oh, trail. Smell, <laughs> smell trail. Yeah. Smell trail. That should be the name uh, of your tour. The, the smell trail. <laughs> Favorite tour with Saturday. We'll do it. And George, yes. I'm sure you'll find a reason to say no. Now, does Is he Joe actually going? float? Yes. Does he actually float? <laughs> okay. Yeah, well, it. we'll see. I, be, I bet he will float. I, bet I think he's going to float. They got yeah. Mel Blank, so they're Mel Blank too. Oh, 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 if I no. don't get something to eat, I'm never going to finish this run. What, what was that truck anyway? 
It's like a filth truck. <laughs> Full of dead fish. Yeah. Yeah. Just on the floor. They supposed to be refrigerated. <laughs> yeah. It was filth truck. A, a fish, sociopath run that. <laughs> <laughs> we see Joe in the front. <laughs> hey, get back here with my fish. <laughs> what you got there? Oh, my bad. <laughs> Yeah. I just thought I'd uh, pick up some company for the long jog. Keep running. I mean, fish is pretty healthy. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I mean, he's eating keto, basically. Yeah. Cheese, <laughs> fish. I mean, like, that's Jakester. You're a keto guy. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Call it the Heathcliff diet. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Heathcliff's got a lasagna. Joe Pickett. Meow. <laughs> 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 he tortures the cats because he's a sociopath. <laughs> Chases them around. Yeah. Yeah. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> Everything gets a sound effect. Yep. <laughs> Love the sound effect. <laughs> oh, here, here, Spike. Here, here boy. The idea of sound Spike. effect. Come on, let's play. Yeah. Uh, you want to fetch? Here you go. Here, boy. <laughs> food at last. Don't eat that food. Don't put that food in your mouth. Nick, I don't know about you, but this was this was something I could relate to probably in seventh grade. Yeah, trying to <laughs> lose weight. Grade. Yeah. yeah, this one spoke to trying me. Trying not to eat out of the back of a truck. As a large child, this, uh, yeah. this spoke to me. Yeah. Please, Hector, just one bite. I'm growing weak with hunger. Uh, I, I can barely lift my arms. Oh, yeah? Well, I've been waiting to say this for a long time, Big Cliff. Me and the boys here are taking over the neighborhood, and you're too weak to... What about Mongo? Yeah, yeah, he's a tough cat. We got a fight cloud. Mark that off your Saturday morning yep. cartoon bingo card. Fight clouds, smell clouds. Yep. <laughs> yep. All sorts of clouds. <laughs> <laughs> the music sounds like a Leisure Suit Larry <laughs> game. Yeah, <laughs> it's like Leisure Suit Larry Five. Cliff, I was embarrassed that you saw me looking at another cat. I don't. She's want supposed to be like Marilyn Monroe. Me. Yeah. I love you just the way you are. The beauty mark on the side. You do. Yeah. 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 Go out with them. That's I like the to watch. I've heard all day. <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> This diet is too much. Oh, that guy. I have yeah, to have a Scarfield or a Heathcliff's honor. Did it again. Oh, no! <laughs> Did you leave me anything? Is that a burp? Yep. Oh, he should have winked. He should have winked. I know. Missed opportunity. So this that's the only time they cross over is in the credits here. They have this brief interaction. Oh wow! He's Cliff and Riff Raff, but but nobody really cared about the junkyard cats, right? I I, almost, really... I preferred them actually because uh, they had that car yeah. that transformed into a boat, and uh, they had a bunch of inventions in the junkyard. And yeah, but J Heathcliff had attitude. Yeah, J Jake's just Cat Jake's just a catitude. Yeah. <laughs> Jake's just a voracious Heathcliff reader. Too, yeah, so, so I can't possibly. <laughs> this not, is true. Not the Emily Bronte Heathcliff, right? Just to be clear, we're talking <laughs> no, about. No, no, he, he didn't okay. even know about that until earlier. Right. In this episode. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all those writers. Yeah. How many writers? Wait, wait, go back, this? go back once to the writers. Well, and, but you know Did why? I see Chuck Lorre. Yes, Chuck Lorre. No. Oh, Deke. Deke was like a stable. Chuck Lorre got to start at Deke. Wait, wait. Oh, go yeah. Oh, yeah. That, yeah so yeah. it's it's probably like uh, uh, all the writers. At yeah. Deke. It, not just for this one. They oh, had right. a factory. Yeah, they had a factory there. So. And you know why they needed 86 writers? Because they had two seasons and they each had, uh, I think, 45 episodes. It's, it's 80, 86 episodes total over two it, seasons. So in two years. Nope. 
Yes. Out of animation, it, too. Yeah. It, it was just like, it was an assembly line, I think, there. Let's just, like, crank the shit out as fast as we can. That's why you need that 100 writers. Yeah. And they paid them seven fifty an hour. Yeah. <laughs> now we all know the lyrics to this. Uh, I like riding a bike. I remember yeah. all this. Do you think there's any um, like uh, deviant art uh, of this cat here that you created? That you created? Yeah, that I created. But I, yeah, I don't know. Like, why is he like? He's a subservient to Riff Raff. Why is he hitting on? Riff Raff's girl no, here. I think, I think he's getting little... into some trouble here. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wild. Let's finish playing this because I want to hear the ending. Okay. Watch the There it is. 1984. Yep. And then I think Dennis the Menace would start up right now. Probably would on Channel 47. As far 47. as the programming goes. Yeah. 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 Uh, so did it live up to the hype, uh, Heathcliff? No, uh, not really. I mean, it was a trip down memory lane. And I, yeah. I, I really like even like the, the soundtrack that would play behind. I remembered all those songs. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I had to really show restraint from like not singing along or the, the <laughs> you know, like those songs that would play behind them. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't think they uh, changed from episode to episode either. No, they, they use the same four yeah. songs. Yeah. 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 And Jakester, yeah. did they live up to the books? I mean, you're voracious. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit more of a purist, so I like mm. the books better. Oh, yeah. right. You're the person who, like, if there's a movie, you're like, right. oh, I like right. the book better. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you miss out on a lot of the nuance of those single panel comic strips. <laughs> right. Um, right. Just a quick update here about Heathcliff is that uh, in 2004, a NASCAR driver um, had Heathcliff's cat litter, which is a real product. You could get Heathcliff's cat litter as a, uh, uh, and wore actually a Heathcliff's cat litter, like uniform with that all over. There's a lot of embarrassing sponsors for a uh, wow. NASCAR, but I don't, I don't know that there's any that more. That doesn't look like a NASCAR though. That looks like a or whatever it is. kind of a thing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if it's NASCAR, but it's some sort of. Uh, it's a truck racing thing. Yeah. yeah but some sort uh, of professional. And that's NASCAR driver, TJ Bell, it says. So yeah. I don't yeah, know. they had they had like a brief stint with like trucks, I think, or something like that. Okay, until until somebody like got Heathcliff as a sponsor, and they're like, yeah, maybe <laughs> we shouldn't do this anymore. Scrape it, scraping the bottom of the barrel there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Uh, but do, is the guy still alive? The Heathcliff creator? No, he died in uh, uh, the yeah, he retired in 1998, died in 2001. But oh. um, oh, three years of retirement. That's great. I was gonna say. Yeah, yeah. but Ga <laughs> but Gately's nephew, uh, Peter Gallagher took over since uh, 94 he'd been drawing it the last four years of uh you know he'd been co-doing it with a gaily and sort of apprenticing with them since 94 so he had four years under his belt and decided to do it and so he still is doing heathcliff so it is still, it still in, exists still in newspapers where they exist wow. today yeah oh, but newspapers. not but, where are but they not <laughs> but not the good newspapers right <laughs> right <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. phone, it's phoning like, it in. Yeah, it's like the Bingo Digest in like Toledo, Ohio. Yeah, right? yeah. Okay, all right. Um, so that's uh, that's Heathcliff, and uh, I think I learned a lot about sociopathy, uh, sociopathy today, and how to say that. One of those. Yeah, yep. I learned a lot about Jakester's reading habits and serial habits. But did we learn anything mm -hmm. else? Oh, I think um, there's a little lesson for us here. If you want to look at my background. Oh yeah. Um, Oh, you learned something. <laughs> yeah, what did you learn, Jakester? Oh, what did I learn? Um, <laughs> uh, give me a minute. Okay, George, well, George you what did first? you learn then? <laughs> oh, sure. I thought you said something about your background. Yeah, like, those ways yeah you I was going to point, point out that uh, uh, Joe's the half head. Oh, <laughs> right. You can see his story. Adam's apple there. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Wow. I, have an, I have an alien about to burst out of my neck. <laughs> okay. I have a new lesson about Joe's Adam's app. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> what other lesson did you learn? Oh, okay. Well, cats have been close companions to humans for millennia. From the hieroglyphics on the walls of ancient Egyptian tombs to the memes populating websites today, images of cats are everywhere. 
Yet this ubiquity overshadows the terror that these felines strike in asthmatics who must suffer in silence except for the wheezing. For such immunocompromised individuals, cats are terrorists of the respiratory system, yet are publicly celebrated from inner office emails to social media accounts. And for what? Cat owners routinely describe their pets as selfish, annoying, and expensive. But if you really want a cynical lump sprawled out naked on your couch all day, you can contact me at george at foundfootagefest.com. <laughs> and that's why I always say, the more you battle, it's twice the knowing. Cynical lump? Was that the word you use? <laughs> yep. That's cynical <laughs> lump. That's good. But okay, so I, I, I had a, a revelation while you were doing that. Like, <laughs> well, I wasn't so, listening to you. I had this revelation. Have you seen the movie Cat's Eye, the Stephen King movie? Yes. Cat's Eye, where it's a bunch of short stories. Mm -hmm. the, the, the old wives' tale, and they, they tackle this in that movie, is that the cat can, uh, while children sleep, it will like suck the air out of the children's breath. Oh, that's right. Or I remember something that like that. Yeah. So I, but I wonder if that's rooted in th their uh, uh, allergies, their allergens. That actually, you know, maybe that's yeah. the thing. Because like that's, people are like, because hmm. George, you say that like, you can't come over to my place because I have two cats and like well, your you. place. I don't go over for other reasons, but yes, it is <laughs> true that cats will, will I'll end up in the hospital if I spend time around cats. Really? No. Oranges, oranges too. <laughs> you just I'm overstating that, it you? a little bit. You, you no, I do. I get that. sick. I used to have to go to the hospital. You came over kid, one but... time and you, you, we were hanging out in the backyard where the cats don't hang out. Right. And, and I was wearing a mask, but it was also during the pandemic. So, yeah, but you normally. were wearing a heavy duty like this is yeah. like a gas mask that you mm -hmm. had on. So yeah, yeah. Um, post apocalypse kind of yeah, Matt gas yeah. mask basically. Anyway, you blew my mind with that one. As yeah, was. that is yeah. a mind blowing one, uh, Jakester. Yeah, uh, thanks for being a Heathcliff expert. No, yeah, uh, expert. And um. uh, <laughs> as I, as I learned in your uh, as I learned in your CB oh. lingo book, over and out. Oh. And for, Happy and Saturday, for. everybody. What are you guys talking <laughs> about? Yeah, so you wouldn't know. Yeah. <laughs> Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday.